Hello and welcome to part two of our training series where we're going over the PTZ Optics Move SE and Move 4K camera line. Uh, we are really excited to be releasing this new generation of PTZ Optics cameras. We have already become an award-winning camera line, winning multiple awards for the Move SE and the Move 4K. But the best thing for our channel partners is that not only is it built upon the award-winning PTZ Optics Gen 2 cameras, but we've consolidated the SKUs significantly by adding USB, HDMI, SDI, and NDI all into the Move 4K platform. So we have significantly less SKUs delivering significantly more value per camera. So very excited about the Move 4K. It's available in 12X, 20X, and 30X camera optical zoom lenses and it is also available in gray and white so we're going to dig into the move 4k and our brand new move se as well now if you're familiar with the ptz optics gen 2 cameras some of the biggest differences here are the 4k connectivity the consolidation of the SKUs, so our gen 2 sdi usb and ndi kind of all the features of those are available in the move 4k we have brand new Ultra HD Sony CMOS sensors. We have auto tracking built into the cameras, which is a big deal for a lot of our customers. And we're going to do a demo of that soon. So everything our customers were asking for have been built into the Move 4K. And even better is we're offering the Move SE as well. And the Move SE starts at just $999. It's NDI upgradable. It has all the features of the Move 4K, except it's only available in 1080p at 60 frames a second. So it makes pan tilt zoom robotic cameras in reach for a much larger audience uh, of the market that we're excited to share the PTZ Optics Move SE. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the Move SE. I'm going to show you a close up of the back of this camera to give you an idea of the connectivity. We have Ethernet, which is available with PoE, Power Over Ethernet. We have SDI, which is a tried and true, very popular SDI connection, HDMI and USB, which you may have seen in our last video if you, um, if you watched the video one. So very excited about these cameras. And we're going to go into some of the details. Now, for auto tracking, um, this is a built-in auto tracking available in both the Move SE and the Move 4K cameras. Whether you get any of them, they all have it built in. Now, for our customers who have purchased Gen 2 cameras, we're offering free software to add auto tracking to those cameras. But what we found is using software for auto tracking requires a computer, and it's not very scalable for our education customers who may have hundreds of classrooms or our house of worship customers who don't have computers powerful enough to run dedicated auto tracking software. So building in auto tracking directly into the cameras is really ideal, especially for houses of worship, education, and venues. So I'd like to uh, show you guys a quick demo of the auto tracking and dig into the features. I'm gonna use the IR remote control to turn on the auto tracking. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail of how this works uh, right now. So right when I start auto tracking, one of the things that you'll see is it zooms into a specific position. And the way that works is you can set preset zero up so that as soon as you want the camera to start auto tracking, it will go to that preset. So if you're an audiovisual integrator and you're setting up a classroom for a teacher where you want the camera to automatically track them, you uh, would probably want to set up preset zero at the end of your installation to zoom into the teacher's desk. Now I'm going to ask uh, my producer to walk in here and I want to show some of the features of the auto tracking that make this camera different from motion tracking cameras. Motion tracking cameras track motion, but what happens when there's two people on stage or three people on stage? Now right now you'll see the camera's going to track me even though Mike's here, and that is because there is built-in computer vision and I'll show you kind of how it works. So it actually has the ability to select between different subjects. Um, so if we go ahead and click Mike there, it's only going to track Mike. And it's not going to worry about me. Oh, 
Hold on. There we go. Oh, wait. It's still on me. Sorry. Let's go back to you there and click OK. There we go. Now it's only going to track Mike. It's not going to track me. You do need to click the OK button. Sorry about that, Mike. Um, but it will also start auto tracking and it will automatically zoom in and out. So, Mike, if you want to move maybe closer to the camera so that they could see, it'll automatically manage the zoom, the pan. So, if you're closer to the camera, it will zoom out. If you're farther away, it will zoom in. It's a really great uh, system for lots of different presentations, whether you are in education, corporate, government, uh, it will track specifically that person. Now, I'm going to turn the tracking off. It's going to go back to a home position. And one of the things I want to just show one more time is that if I hit auto tracking again, it's going to go to that preset zero and it's going to automatically connect to me, right? It's not going to need any boxes or anything. So we've really designed this to be automated, to be seamless for a lot of our uh, teachers and, and customers in education and classrooms so that the, and in pastors and churches, for example. So that's our auto tracking demo. I wanted to show that quickly. Built into the camera, no additional software needed. Now, I also wanted to talk a little bit about joystick controllers because pan tilt and zoom cameras can be robotically controlled and there's a variety of ways to do that. The most affordable way for a joystick controller from PTZ Optics is the HC Joy G4. This is a serial connected joystick. So the nice thing about it is it doesn't require a network. It is a simple plug and play, easy to use. It's $299, very affordable. Plug it right into your camera and it's going to work. Now, our kind of workhorse of this, um, this lineup is the PT Joy G4. This one is $650 and it allows you to control the cameras over the network. So, very popular. And then we have the PTZ Optics Super Joy. And the Super Joy can do both serial or IP connections. It has support for NDI cameras. And it has an HDMI video output. So you can plug this right into a monitor and whatever camera you connect to, you can see it without any additional software needed. Now, I'd like to show the SuperJoy really quickly so we can take a peek at some of the features here. So one of the great things about the SuperJoy is it does come with custom buttons that can send any HTTP command or CGI TCP command that you'd, you'd need. It can also do something called a super preset. So one button click can send a preset to up to 10 cameras, which is really great. And uh, it has a lot of different controls for controlling the speed. Now, I'll show you an example here of controlling this camera uh, that's on stage. And you can see here, this is all over the network. So you can control it very slowly. You can control it much quicker. You can twist to zoom. And you can see that this is all happening over a single network connection. So if you've got a school, or a large space where there's a big network, you can control these cameras from almost anywhere in the world. So very, very cool here. You can see the camera's only connected via a single ethernet connection. Joystick is also connected over ethernet. So both of these are powered over ethernet. And it's just a really popular, this is one of our most popular joysticks. And by the way, these work with almost every PTZ camera. So whether you're using Sony, Panasonic, many different uh, cameras that will support and we have a lot of different documentation on our knowledge base on how to make other camera brands work as well. So the SuperJoy is one of our favorite joysticks. It really has become one of the most popular on the market. Now, really quickly, if you don't know what optical zoom is, we have an optical zoom calculator on our website. And one of the things that you may want to go over with your customers is, you know, which camera model do you need? And we offer lenses in 12x, 20x, and 30x optical zoom. The trade-off is that 12x optical zoom gives you a wider field of view when fully zoomed out. So if you're putting it in a small conference room or classroom, a 12x, because of its wide angle, maybe give you plenty of optical zoom to zoom in and show everything in detail, and you don't need a 20x or a 30x lens. Now, if you were in a large auditorium or a big house of worship or a venue, the 30x optical zoom will give you that extra ability to zoom in. So the optical zoom is the camera's ability to zoom in from a far distance without pixelating or losing quality. On our website, what you can do is select the optical zoom that you're suggesting, 
you can type in the distance from the camera to the subject and click calculate, and it will give you the image width when fully zoomed in and the image width when fully zoomed out. When it's fully zoomed in, this is saying three foot. So from 75 feet away from the camera to the subject, you can get a head and shoulders, a three foot zoomed in image. When fully zoomed out, you'll be able to capture a wide 86 foot wide area and anything in between there. So this is a great little calculator you can use on our website to you know, give you and your customers an idea of what the best optical zoom option is. Now, we have a lot of these 3D diagrams on our website that show you high level how you can connect up live streaming, video production, and professional audiovisual systems in a variety of formats. In fact, you can ask our partner team for uh, these diagrams for education for every vertical. Um, but essentially, you're seeing a PTZ Optics SuperJoy in the middle here with its HDMI output showing the operator the camera they're controlling. Uh, we have a couple serial cameras, which might be older cameras that aren't on the network. We have some IP cameras. We've got a Sony camera. We have an NDI camera. And we're even showing our free smartphone app. So we have a Wi-Fi app as well. Uh, and it's even showing a camera that's on the public internet going over UDP. So all of this is possible, even, control, even sending HTTP commands to software that supports that, whether it's a Crestron, Xtron, vMix, or OBS system. Now, when we talk about auto tracking, just to switch, switch back there, um, we can track subjects up to 300 feet away with the Move 30X. So that 30X optical zoom allows us to do auto tracking from farther distances. So with the 12X Move 4K, we can track subjects up to 200 feet away. Um, down here, you're seeing the web interface. Um, so you don't need to have the IR remote to turn off and on auto tracking. There is a web interface to control that as well. You can also turn off and on auto tracking with an API and the PTZ Optics SuperJoy controller. Really quickly uh, for our customers and integrators, we have a free software called the PTZ Optics Camera Management Platform. And you may hear us say the CMP. This software is designed for larger deployments where you want to have all your cameras managed from a single software. It is available for Mac, PC, and Linux computers. And we have an entire video series on this software. It's very in-depth, but it allows you to multiple have a multi-view of multiple cameras, uh, connect to them all over the network, automatically discover them on your network. And for our customers who purchase Gen 2 cameras, you can even add auto tracking capabilities via the software. Now, really quickly also wanted to mention that with the PTZ Optics Move 4K launch, we also, which is NDI native, network device interface native, we also have a Dante camera now, um, which is the PTZ Optics Link 4K. And this is a great camera. It's, it operates up to 4K at 60 frames a second, supports HDMI, SDI, USB, and Dante AVH which will integrate directly into any Dante video or audio workflow. It has the built-in auto tracking and presenter lock where we showed where you can lock into a specific presenter. And all of our cameras have a five-year warranty and lifetime support. So we're really excited to be offering a Dante camera as well. You may be familiar with Dante and some of your professional audiovisual integration systems where the Dante camera is connecting to maybe a Dante AV encoder or amplifier or system. Now, really quickly, by the end of this, I just wanted to introduce our PTZ Optic Studio Pro, the camera I've been using for my close up this entire time. This is our entry level live streaming camera starting at just $699. It produces a very beautiful quality video for uh, people who want to have a higher quality video for their Zoom meetings, for their live streams, for their productions. You can see here, like you can really, really zoom in there and get perfect quality video. It includes a light, so it really is an all-in-one solution here. Um, and uh, this product can be used with HDMI, so you can do a little HDMI video switcher system, plug and play USB, and of course, NDI. And so you can plug this over the ethernet and use it for a lot of different scenarios here. Very, very popular camera. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I apologize if I'm a little over our time limit, but I just wanted to give you guys a in-depth depth look 
at the PTZ Optics Move SE and Move 4K cameras and a couple other new additions to our camera lineup. Feel free to reach out to partners at ptzoptics.com to learn more. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.